Okay, what we're going to be doing right now is solving the Rydberg equation um, for one of the energy levels. This is a little bit different than what we've done in class to this point, and it's a little bit more complicated, not in the concepts, but in the math. So we have an electron in the n equals 5 energy level emits a photon with a wavelength of 1281 nanometers. To what energy level does it move? So we've got to think about what's going on in a hydrogen atom. Remember, in a hydrogen atom, you've got the nucleus, and then you have the n equals 1 energy level, which is the ground state, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So we have an electron in the n equals 5 energy level. When a photon is emitted, that means that energy is given off, and that means that our electron relaxes. It can relax or get demoted to the n equals 4, 3, 2, or 1. And what we are trying to solve for is to what energy level does it relax down to. So in looking at our Rydberg equation, we have lambda. Lambda is right here. That's the wavelength of the photon that's emitted. We know what the Rydberg um, constant is, and we're trying to solve for either n1 or n2. So let's figure out what needs to go where. We know that n equals 5 is, the, is one of the energy levels, so that's going to be one of our n's. And n equals 4, 3, 2, or 1 is the other one. n1 always has to be smaller. So we're going to have 1 over n squared, that's what we're going to be looking for, minus 1 over 5 squared. This is the only way that we can set these numbers up such that we get a positive value. If you get a negative value just for what's in these parentheses, you're doing it wrong. That n, that first n, must be smaller than the second n. So we are ready to solve this equation. First thing we're going to do, though, is convert our 1281 nanometers into meters. So 1281 nanometers for every 1 times 10 to the 9th nanometers, there's 1 meter. So that gives us 1.281 times 10 to the minus 6th meters. Now we're going to keep going and we're going to plug things into that Rydberg equation. So we have 1 divided by 1.281 times 10 to the minus 6th meters equals the Rydberg constant, 1.097 times 10 to the 7th meters, um, inverse meters, 1 over meters, times 1 over n squared minus 1 over 5 squared. If you get to this point on an exam, you are more than halfway there. The rest is just math. So I'm going to try to step you through the algebra so you can see exactly how to do this math. First off, I'm going to do this math here. I'm just going to take 1 divided by 1.281 times 10 to the minus 6th. And that gives me 7.806 times 10 to the fifth. And my units are going to be 1 over meters. I'm going to keep that Rydberg constant. I'll deal with that in the next step. 1.097 times 10 to the seventh inverse meters, 1 over meters. And then I'm going to do this math. Uh, I'm going to say that it's 1 over n squared, that's what I'm solving for, minus 1 over 25. All right, now what I'm going to do, I'm just trying to isolate this n. At this point in time, all we're trying to do is to get that n squared up in the numerator, have it equal to a number. So now, I'm going to divide this whole thing by that Rydberg constant, 1.097 times 10 to the seventh, 1 over meters. And what I do to the right-hand side of the equation, I do to the left-hand side of the equation. 1.097 times 10 to the seventh, 1 over meters. That cancels it out over here. So we have 
0806 times 10 to the fifth, 1 over meters, divided by 1.097 times 10 to the seventh, 1 over meters. 1 over meters cancels, and after you do that math, you get 0 0.071158. Is equal to 1 over n squared minus, I'm going to do this math now, 1 divided by 25 is equal to 0 0.04. We're almost there, getting closer. Algebra is looking slightly simpler. We're still trying to isolate n squared, so we're going to add 0 0.04 to both sides. That gets rid of it on the right hand side. 0 0.071158 plus 0 0.04. 0 0.111158 equals 1 over n squared. Now, this is very similar to uh, what happens when you have 1 over the wavelength. Right now, we have 1 over n squared. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take both sides and multiply it by n squared to get it up out of that denominator and into the numerator so it cancels on the left hand on the right hand side so we get 0 0.111158 and squared equals 1 and we divide both sides by 0 0.111158 we get n squared equals 9. A nice, simple thing that you can do in your head, and that's how it should always be. To be really precise, what we're doing is we're taking the square root of both sides, and in taking the square root of both sides, you get n equals 3. And there you have it. What this equation is telling us, or what this question is asking, Again, we have the nucleus of a hydrogen atom. N equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Our electron went from the N equals 5 energy level down to the N equals 3 energy level. It relaxed. It emitted a photon with a wavelength of 1281 nanometers. There you have it. That's how you can do the math on these more complicated Rigberg equ uh, equations. Any questions? Let me know.